20 minutes of Bill Burr. Let's get it. White person likes to lie to themselves that they were alive, you know, 150 years ago, that they would have been working on the Underground Railroad trying to help slaves escape. Hell right? no, they I wouldn't have done that. I would have been white people. So yeah, sure. I would have taken time out of my day, risk my life, and the reality uh, is, is you'd be doing back then exactly what you're doing today. Nothing. Gosh, then. Yeah, bro, I'm about to say nah yeah, shit. Thick. <laughs> Hashtag Black Lives Matter. Oh my God, I, my heart breaks on my L-shaped couch. <laughs> <laughs> about the Black Lives Matter marches was the, the store windows that would have the plywood over the windows. Yeah. And then it would say Black Lives Matter on top of the plywood. I just love the duality. <laughs> you know? It's like, Black Lives Matter. We're all the same. We're all one. Don't burn down my store, you fucking animal. Everybody right. is welcome in this store. Anyone can come in one at a time. Follow him. <laughs> You ever try to get all the abs and get that shit down here? You ever try to do it? It's hard. It's fucking impossible. It's hard, bro. You got to take Past the steroids. Age of 19, you can't do it Facts. without tons of help. Facts. You got to buy all these exercise tapes. You got to read about nutrition. You got to get a personal trainer and having you fucking run. You don't along. need all that. You need oh. like your own chef, and he's like, okay, don't eat it yet. That don't helps. eat it yet. All right, now eat it. Start consuming <laughs> it. All right, stop. Slow down. Stop. Stop. Spit it out. Spit it out. I told you to stop. Get on the electrical. Now you like that Brussels sprout? Did you like that Brussels sprout? Because now you're paying sprout. for it. It's a fucking miserable experience. It is miserable. Just walking around, your whole body's eating yourself. You know, you want some cake? No. No, I'll just take a salad. Balsamic vinaigrette on the side, no croutons. Balsamic vinaigrette is oh fucking amazing. When is the photo shoot? I want to kill myself. It's horrible. It is. You ever try to get fat? <laughs> Easy as hell, no. boy. It just happened. You don't have to. It just happened. It's effortless. You can fucking lay on your back watching your favorite show, just shoveling shit down your throat. Easy. What are you doing? I'm getting fat. I'm getting fat. You got a trainer? Don't need one. Nope. Natural. Easy as hell. I just eat everything that makes my sugar salt go like, yeah. Woo! Yeah. Comes right in. Nice roll of fucking flour. I, th I think I, I <laughs> stay single too long, man. It's just brutal. This is a critical point when you stay single too long, and when your brain switches from, uh, you know, like, you know, don't, don't, don't say that to, eh, fuck it, say it. See what <laughs> Dude, and what? <laughs> because if I mean, you've been single for so long. If it worked, it worked. It, I mean, who cares? <laughs> Once you cross that line, the, the, the evil that just just opens up. It's just, you know. You gotta catch yourself sometimes, like, bro, chill. It might just I don't know, work you know out. I just find women that just like, uh, I think they're great. I don't want this to come off like, I don't want to come off here like I'm some woman hater. Cause, so you're uh, about to say some woman hating shit? I know shit. I'm a psycho, but it's just like, I don't know. I just find them to be like relentless. Just every day, they, they just, they just got to come at you. They just wake up. They have an agenda. And so they're like these psycho robots that never run out of batteries. And every day they just keep fucking <laughs> keep coming at you. Bro, what? <laughs> right? <laughs> what? You got to deal with that every single day. <laughs> hey, honey. You want and you literally, you know. Every day, it's, it's like waves hitting the beach, you know? Every what? day, just eroding a little more your life away, you know? Just waking up inch by inch, you know, every day. Just... Bro. <laughs> Why are you hanging out with him? He drinks too much. Oh, my God, bro. Where'd you buy that? That's <laughs> ugly. Throw it out. I wish, bro, I wish a female would say something like that, bro. You gotta go. You can't be hating like that. Fuck, no. Oh, no, you gotta go, honey. So one day you're just hanging out in the middle of a lagoon, just floating it's there. It's time for you to go. Cards. Hell no. You're waving to your friends back on the Who <laughs> get me tickets? I still like no. sports. Oh, here she comes. Here she comes. Hey, honey, how you doing? Hell no. No way. No, I'm trying to. I'm trying to learn how to how to pick my battles with my girl. You know. Back. That's what I am. You Why know, are you clapping, lady? All the time. <laughs> I'm just trying to pick the battles. Some days they they come at you. You just, you just gotta let them go. You just let them go and follow them to whatever dumb shit they want to do. Like, hey, let's go get a picnic. We'll have a picnic. Ain't that the fucking truth? Nick, you bring the good bank and you fucking. <laughs> then other days, you just, you just gotta get your hand up. Hold up. Just create this parade. Slow down, girl. Them to bounce off like. <laughs> <laughs> a barrier, bro. A barrier, bro. Psycho energy in another direction. <laughs> a barrier, bro. Buy yourself a couple of hours for freedom before they bounce off something else. Bro, a couple of minutes. What you talking about? Hours, bro. Minutes, bro. No, they're relentless. They never stop. 
Facts. And there's no reason for him to stop. I wish there was. You know why? Because because you can't hit him. I beg to differ. <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> Think about that. There's no physical ramifications for being an asshole when you're a woman. Do you know how much of a how much of a dick I would be if it was socially unacceptable to kick the shit out of me? <laughs> Dude, I would be trashing everybody I saw. See some big muscle bomb guy. Hey, I go to the fucking gym. Slap his protein shake out of me. Hey, what are you gonna do about it? I know about. But I can't do that, right? Every guy has a line, and if I cross the line, I get blasted in the face. Totally acceptable, right? Oh. But with women, there's no line. They can just keep fucking... Just keep coming we at need, you. We need to change that. We need to change that shit. Dude, they can do stuff worthy of, like, a suplex, and they'll just stand right next <laughs> to you. They don't even have the decency to run away. They're like, they don't need to. They're on fire. They're like, ta-da, I did that shit. Okay. Hell no. So and look, they clapping. They happy. See your reaction. I invited a couple of friends to heckle you as you try to stomp it out with your bare feet. Oh yeah, they'll like key your car, sign their name. And it won't be other ladies defending her. It'll be simp men trying to be next in line. Like, yeah, he did wrong. See, I wouldn't treat you like that. See, I'd make you a queen. I'd praise you. I give you hugs and kisses every day. Man, shut your ass up, boy. And Susan did this shit. Hell no. You're sitting like, now? Can I at least put her in a headlock? Give her a couple of... Huh? Now, I feel bad for women that you, you never get to feel that. You guys should, should do it to each other, you know? Just every once in a while. Beat each other's ass. Yeah, that's a good idea. Just haul off and just blast one of your friends in the face, you know? Fuck it. Why not? It's good for you. It is. Like the break rooms, no, you know? I know? Yeah, I know. It hurts. You know, you can't feel your nose. Your ears are ringing. But I'm telling you, man, it, it clears your head. And it causes you to, like, evaluate yourself. <laughs> I swear to God, any time I ever got punched in the face, I was always pissed. But at some point during the drive home, I'd always be thinking, like, you know, you know it's kind of being a dick back there, you know? Think about it. When I really think about it, I probably shouldn't have said that last shit, you know? Yeah. And you, you, you'd, like, make that adjustment. No, you don't. <laughs> don't kid yourself. I can't believe he's just going to say this kind of thing. Actually, my girl punched me in the head on Valentine's Day. That ain't ago. good. Yeah, you want to hear this story? This is a great one. Yeah, let's hear this it. This is how much of a dick I am, that I can actually tell a girl I love her, give her a card, and somehow, at the end of the night, she still blasted me in the head, you know? <laughs> I can't even remember what happened. All I know is she said some shit, then I said some stuff, then she said some more stuff, and I said, fuck it, I'm going for big air. I said the last shit, and next thing you know... She yeah, bro. That <laughs> it's like they escalated. And then when you say the last word, you're the bad guy. She just came flying at me, right? Fist balled up. Okay, and at first she was just hitting me all in here, you know, which is acceptable, right? It's a holiday. Let's fucking keep it nice. Acceptable. You know? Let's keep it nice. <laughs> and I gotta admit, I was blocking most of it at first. There you right? go. I was doing the rope a dope. I was leaning back. Yeah, there you go. Her head in, I was leaning on her. Okay. Talking there you go. shit, trying to tire her out, right? And then all of a sudden, she just went up top, fucking wham, it hit me right in the side of the head. You know what hurt the most was not that she hit me, was that after she hit me, she didn't have the decency to hop back, like, like maybe something was gonna happen. She knew nothing was gonna happen. It's against the rules, so not only did she get the blast in the head, she then got to do like this UFC talking shit thing in my face, pointing. Oh, it was brutal. And she started like breaking up some stuff, you know, of course it was all my stuff and I'm just standing there, okay, don't look her in the eye, stand as still as you can, let her calm down. Oh, that's great. Bro, this shit's supposed to make me laugh. This shit making me depressed. The fuck? That's something mine from That is no I way to live. To <laughs> evidently not to you. It's funny, if I was doing that shit, I'd have a cop with his knee in my back, but Facts. evidently you have a vagina, so that makes it okay. I just have to stand here as you break all my shit. Hell no, I'm made laughing. As far as I can tell. All right, if they're Damn, right, young Bill Burr, the point and they stay on point and make sure you stay on point. I never knew this man had hair until you're down on your knees, apologizing, begging for forgiveness. All right, what are you talking about? no problem with that. Totally respect it. But here's the thing. If they're wrong, they go rogue. They go off road. They start thinking of shit you're sensitive about. Maybe you don't get along with your dad. And in their head, they just start concocting this evil statement. <laughs> totally designed this desperate Hail Mary attempt. To make you so fucking mad, you just call him a cunt. <laughs> wow. That's what it is.
and cunt trumps all the bullshit they did to start the argument. Now it's not about that. Well, that's no reason to call me a cunt. And then that's it. You're in this room now, right? <laughs> You're in this room now. My girl knows my big thing is my big fear in life is to be that dude who grows old, you know, grows old alone, has like that basement apartment, just screaming up at the younger couple, turn it down! Jesus. That isn't music! Jesus. So I noticed that anytime she was losing a fight, out of nowhere, she'd just be like, well, that's why you're just gonna grow old and be alone. Then I'd grow oh, old. Jesus. The next thing you know, I'm in the kitchen washing dishes for the ninth fucking time in a row. This is what the argument was about. I was so right. What happened? <laughs> so if you learn anything from my ignorance tonight, I'm learning a lot. Just know this next time you're in a battle with your beautiful woman, your, your wife, girlfriend, whatever, and they start out of nowhere. Okay, you're winning, and they just start saying that crazy shit out of nowhere. Just know in that moment you've won the fight, okay? Yeah, I mean, right. I mean, uh, what? Don't get mad. Bob and Weave, slip all of that shit. Maybe because yeah, you got a little dick. Just let that slide. Stay in the pocket of the argument. Okay? It's over. The argument is over. You've won. Just take a knee and run out the clock. All right? <laughs> run out the clock. I'm dead. <laughs> I mean, me personally, I don't even really argue like that like i'll state my stuff they state theirs at the end of the day it'd be like man it is what it is like fuck it just leave just go like pack your stuff man like get out not even like her stuff ain't even here but i'm just saying like let's go like it ain't even worth it. I, i'll find somebody else and eventually i do and eventually it's the same not not the same but it's like similar okay they have an issue all right you gotta go. Like, I having nobody cramp my lifestyle. You gotta go. Lean on the ropes, let them punch themselves out. And then in the end, you throw their psychology right back at them. Well, maybe we should discuss it later when you calm down. <laughs> and they won't hook up with you for a couple of days. Who cares? Who cares? You rub one out. Rub I, one out like a man. I it's just a champagne go, of victory. Go away. <laughs> I saw a woman a couple months back professional soccer player, right? She goes on to ESPN or one of these sports channels and she starts bitching, going like, I don't understand, how come female athletes don't make as much as male professional athletes, right? And all of these men had to sit there and act. If y'all wanna see me react to this, I already did. iCard, check it out, I already reacted to the whole thing. I find a lot of that, uh, a lot of that racial stuff like fascinating, you know, like the different rules of like how, who gets in trouble, who doesn't. Like I've noticed black people have the genius to put the curse word after. Ah, I remember I saw this on person, Instagram. Where white dudes, we always put it in front. Yeah. And if we would just make that little adjustment. Put it in the back, you'd be so good. So many careers. You just put it in so the back. Jobs could be saved in the white community if we would just put it after. You never notice that in conversation here, black guy being like, man, I was standing there, this Asian motherfucker came in. He starts talking about, but you don't even hear it. You're just sitting there, oh, what did this Asian mom <laughs> <Let me> do? <laughs> I would love to hear the rest of this story, right? <laughs> Dude, I would tell the exact same story, right? I'm standing there, right? This fucking Asian comes in, right? <laughs> Everybody's all like, whoa, whoa, hey, easy, easy, Jesus, dude. What year is it, you know? <laughs> And he makes a difference. He's hooking up with people's mothers. I'm not even doing that. <laughs> I got it out of the way. I got it out of the way. Just how I talk. This fucking guy came in, fucking Asian. That's how it's become. Fucking U.S. Everything's so goddamn heavy. Fucking joke you tell. Well, what did you mean about that? What did you mean about that? I didn't go to the gym today. Are you calling me fat? Then yeah. I feel fucking triggered. <laughs> Get a fucking apologize to everybody. This is how screwed up my country is right now. Do you, you know that, you know Brian Cranston, right? That dude did a movie. He played a quadriplegic. And people gave him shit. <laughs> Be like, why is there an able-bodied person playing a quadriplegic? It's like, it's because it's called acting. You <laughs> See, if he was a quadriplegic playing a quadriplegic, that's not acting. <laughs> that's just fuck. On the other hand, I get what he's saying, but on the other hand, me personally, I think if it's a side role, then you might as well do it. So for like, they have like a Willy Wonka movie or something like that. Anyways, we all know Oompa Loompas, 
or small people. So instead of just hiring small people to be in the background, because that's what they are, the background characters, like maybe one Oompa Loompa will actually talk, but the rest of them are singing in background characters. Instead of getting and paying actual little people to do it, instead they spend money on just having CGI shrinking down normal sized people. Why not just go find fucking people to do it? Like, that's, that's what I didn't understand. Now, when it's the star, if it's the star person, that's different. I mean, those people are actual actors. For you to go find a quadriplegic that knows how to act, boy, that's finding a diamond in the rough when you could just go to Hollywood and anybody can act their ass off. You know what I'm saying? You can lay in there saying shit that someone else wrote. That's just how I feel about it. So tell us, what, what did you do to prepare for the role? Well, I dove head first into the shallow end of a pool when I was 23. I feel like I've been preparing for this role for my whole life. Right, what is up next for you? Uh, well, they're going to do a reboot of Top Gun. They did. Uh, I'm going to fly it with my prom, and uh, the co-pilot's going to be transgendered. So did that happen? Be happy. She won't die. Her discarded dick will block her head from the canopy. There'll be a gender-neutral bathroom on the plane. How fucking dumb is that? That's literally like watching a movie. Why didn't you have a murderer play a murderer? And how come the guy he shot, I saw him in another movie? <laughs> I mean, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> No, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. I don't know what the fuck is going on. But I think white women started it. <laughs> Probably. 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 <laughs> the fucking worst. It's all they do is bitch mode and complain. I had no idea how difficult it was to be a white woman in the United States of America. <laughs> Evidently, it was really difficult. <laughs> 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 always bitching. Do you that have laugh. any idea what it's like to be me? Well, I imagine it would be slightly <laughs> less awesome than my life. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Bill. <laughs> what happened to you today, sweetheart? Huh? Did they not chill your rosé? Mm. You know? Was the trolley not running down at the mall? What happened? The trolley. No, it's unreal. I'm really fucking annoyed how white women have the fucking balls to throw my white privilege in my face. <laughs> you know? Start to separate themselves from white males with their white male privilege. It's like, you're, you're sitting in a jacuzzi with <laughs> Yeah, put your fucking white. <laughs> Look. Here's a little oh caveat God, here, so you don't think I'm a complete asshole right out of the gate. Too right, late. If you fucking, if you live in some honey boo boo lifestyle honey -boo -boo. on the Appalachian Trail, you know your uncle oh just God. banged you in the dirt. All right. I, yeah, there's Can nothing. Oh, you gonna cut it off there? Other than the fact that you guys are just into destroying each other. What? No, now it's gonna get quiet. <laughs> <laughs> I see all that sneaky shit you do, ladies. If you could just support the WNBA. The way you support a fat chick that's proud of her body I think I've seen is this. no longer a threat to you. Yeah, you know? I've seen this. Check it out. Icar. No, you fat bitch. It's just. Yeah, this is the same. He took it out of. Means no. That's another one. No means no. It's like no, it doesn't. All right. Sometimes it depends. Look, look, no on the situation. means no. No, yeah, yeah, that yeah. means no. All right, yeah. but no, stop it. What are you doing? Yeah, what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> that means I want to do it, but I'm afraid you're going to judge me, so I'm just going to look like it was your idea so you don't figure out that I've already performed this act with 40 other fucking people. Crazy. Right? Crazy. But then... Nah, but whenever you find a girl, she's like, yeah, let's go ahead and do it. You just be like, whoa, okay, all right, all right. Just know you weren't the first one, buddy. She's not yours. It's just your turn. Then you go to court and you get a bad read and there's some guy reading it. Uh, your Honor, she said no. Stop it. Yeah, you bro. You're being so if, bad. if you just read it. <laughs> yeah, and you're just sitting there like, she didn't fucking say it like that. She didn't say it like that. <laughs> Not what you say, it's how you say it. Friend a lot lately. Um, she loves to watch the Oprah Winfrey show. That's and I love show. to watch her 
watch, watch the, the Oprah, Oprah show. Yeah, bro. I used and to watch I my mom watch it. to say something that I don't agree with, and then I take it out on my girlfriend because I'm a jerk. I don't like some jerk stuff. So, Oprah brings out her first guest, right? She gives her this huge intro. She's written a book, she's been in a movie, and she does the most difficult job on the planet. She's a mother. <laughs> so immediately, I look at my girlfriend, I'm like, really? Being a mother is the most difficult job on the planet? How many moms died on ice road truckers last season? Bro. <laughs> you know, any moms get <clears throat> washed overboard on deadliest catch? <laughs> no, I'm not trying to be disrespectful, but which job would you rather have? <laughs> you want to scoop crabs up off the bottom of the ocean, hanging off some rusty tugboat, catching that trap to the back of your head every couple of weeks? <laughs> or you want to hang out in the sunshine with a couple of rugrats? <laughs> you know, you can send them to bed anytime Good you comparison. want. On some trumped up charges. <laughs> Y'all were too loud, so you, now you gotta go to bed. <laughs> trumped up charges, yeah, because you wanna have a drink and watch the prices, right? Right. <laughs> you want your me time. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. No, maybe, maybe it is. Maybe it is the most difficult job. I mean, I thought roofing in the middle of July is a redhead. Fuck okay. that. I thought that that was a difficult job. But evidently, these mothers, they're bending over at the waist, putting DVDs in the DVD players. Hard work. I don't know how they do it. Bro, you know this is old. Bro said DVDs in the DVD player. They ain't even got to do that no more. How do they do it all the way? They push that stroller with the round wheels? Yeah, and the baby in there? <laughs> it's the most difficult job on the planet going to war pinned down by a sniper. What a joke. <laughs> sure. It's a joke. You ever burp a baby and forget to put that towel up there? Oh, there's another shirt you gotta wash, right? Oh yeah, lift with your knees and put it in that machine that does it for you. <laughs> People, any job you can do in your pajamas is not difficult. Hey, I so mean. It's draining, but come on, draining, man, being yeah, a stay at home yeah. mom, that's like my dream job. No boss, no time card, no taxes. You're off the grid. Bro, Hanging it? out all day, making grilled cheese sandwiches. Awesome. Giving a puppet show, you dress like a dragon. Bro. <laughs> then some other adult, some other adult comes home and gives you money. Easy life. Ah, that was awesome. That was awesome. 20 minutes of Bill Burr, man. That was pretty dope. Anyways, if you want to see the parts that I skipped, no, I already reacted to that part. So go check that out if you want. Anyways, this is your boy Miss Conrad. Subscribe. See you guys next time.